uh, our bin washing area, pretty obvious, but we've got a few um, tables with mesh tops on the ground with plastic underneath so the grass doesn't keep growing up. It's pretty rudimentary, but we just, when, they're, uh, when bins are clean, they're turned over and stacked. And when they're dirty, they're um, over here ready to be cleaned. So that's how you can tell what still needs to be washed and what doesn't need to be washed. We've got this little thing, which I'm still not totally sold on, but you know, you can line up, you can line up your bins here. And then you've got a bunch, not that one, that's not gonna fit, kind of held up so you don't, you can use both your hands for scrubbing and for spraying. So it's kind of nice because it gives you a hands-free situation. But again, probably would want it a little higher, maybe a little longer. Um, but again, these are all kind of ready to be washed. And we've got a couple of hoses out here. We ended up putting hot and cold water outside so that we can use that for um, spraying things, cleaning things, but also just having warmer hands in the colder season. And then like I mentioned before, we've got these two spray table tops that we can use for um, over, overload for extra muddy bunch greens, herbs, carrots, beets, that sort of thing. And that just uh, helps free up another space inside so somebody else can be doing this outside and keeps a lot of the mud from coming in the building. And then this is our um, load-in door and the dock and you can kind of see how you can flow in and about. And as you walk in, this is our little um, person door entrance over there, which I was been a really important addition just so we can keep this larger door closed on days when we really want it, want it closed. And then we have a little crew area over there where people can hang their coats. And then um, that's where our washing machine green spinner is, is gonna be plugged in and hooked up. And here is where we walk in and put dirty produce ready to be washed, deal with it here, you know, wash it in here, sink, triple bays, movable carts and boxes, washing troughs, and then we can take these carts, fill with our orders and load them right into one of two coolers. For right now we're using this one primarily as a flower cooler and this one primarily as a vegetable cooler. And over here, this has been kind of floating space. It's mostly this time of year has been tomato storage because we're going through them so often, but I'm not sure how that's gonna be used in the, in the long term. But that's what we've been doing with it. And then as you walk in here, this turns into our flower space. And we, can, we have kind of extra tables that we can pop in or pop out depending on the sizes of our events that we're doing. But we have got all our supplies and stuff organized that way. And then we've got two, um, those two tables and these two tables kind of set up to do arrangements on and excuse my mess, but there's always a million floral supplies around. And then this um, blends into the caterer space that we've been sharing. We lease some of our space to, and it's been a great benefit for both of us, I think. So this is her catering space, catering space, food storage, and then we can also you know, use a bunch of our, uh, process some of our on-farm produce as well, which has been great. Lunch area slash office desk for me. Um, but great space to have meetings with brides and families and or crew lunches and or um, we've done some floral craft workshops which has been really great to have this table here and you can open up the sides and get bigger. And then um, hand washing sink over here, bathroom and shower over here which has been a great benefit for people who are um, on our crew and then going straight somewhere else after they have that option. And then this um, part of the building, which we didn't end up finishing, this has been really great because, um, you know, you kind of forget how much space you really need for storage of things, especially when you're doing um, events. So over here is, that's all the caterers stuff. But, and then this is all of our boxes for shipping uh, flower bouquets and stuff to customers where you always need a place to, to put these boxes. And now we have one. And then all of our um, vases and boxes and floral supplies can be really easy to access and see what we have available, but it's not taking up heated space. So, and it's really handy because you can just get it really quickly so you don't have to go upstairs or around or whatever, and it stays dry. So this has been a really nice added benefit, which we weren't really sure how we were gonna end up using this space for. So that's pretty much it. And then we have this entrance out here so you can come in this way also, which is usually what the caterer person does. And we're kind of in the process of clearing out this zone. We've just kind of mm. hoed everything out and cleaned it out. And we're going to try to convert this space into a more friendly, usable space. This used to be where we had initially processed vegetables when I first started farming here. And that was our first uh, greenhouse over there for the first like three or four years. This tiny little greenhouse was our, was our gig. Um, so it'll be fun to give that a new life as well. Who knows for what, but it's a great sunny space. So it'll be mm. nice for, for something. <laughs>